Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Dragon and in this video, I'll show you how to install Pure Nexus Project ROM on your Lego Valido. So first of all, the ROM and the Google Apps links will be in the description below. So make sure that you download them and place them in the internal storage of your device. And regarding Google Apps, you cannot use open gaps with this ROM. Like, it's not suggested. So make sure that you use only Beanstalk gaps with this ROM. I will leave links for the gaps file as well in the description below. So make sure that you use beans gaps. So now download the ROM and the gaps file and place them in the internal storage of your device. And now power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button together. So now in recovery mode, select wipe and swap to wipe and now select install and select the rom file and swipe to flash And now select the gaps file and swipe to flash. And now select reboot system. So the first boot into this ROM is going to take quite a bit of time. So just sit back. So now we have successfully booted into ROM. So if you don't know about Pure Nexus Project ROM, so it was started during the good old Nexus days. Yep, rip Nexus. Nexus doesn't exist anymore. Well, but the whole idea of this ROM is to bring the Nexus experience to all devices. So ROM is actually based on AOS PCAF, so it is close to stock but it has very little tweaks just the basic ones which makes sense and and since it's based on caf it has great performance so overall the main thing about this rom is how quick and snappy it is and it does have quite a bit of features like you can enable navigation bar and it, and rom has inbuilt support for oms substratum so you can use substratum themes and some more little tweaks like that. Regarding bugs, the ROM is actually close to stable. Of course, IR Blaster is not working just like with any other Nougat based ROM, but you can use the same workaround which we use on all Nougat based ROMs. Here's a card to the tutorial video, so check that out. Regarding camera, the camera is actually super stable, like it does not crash at all, except for some certain scenarios which we will see in a bit. So, one thing about the camera is when you Look at it from the viewfinder, it looks crappy, but when you take a when you actually take the photo and look at the actual photo, it turns out to be good. So that's one thing to note. And and in video mode, video is up to full HD works without any issues. But there is option to enable quad HD, but when you enable quad HD the camera app crashes. So this is what I was talking about before so apart from this scenario camera doesn't crash at all so yeah that's it for this video guys if you found this video useful go down and hit the like button because that means a lot to me and for more videos hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button because more awesome videos are coming soon on the channel and i'll see you guys later see ya